Hi Taurus, welcome to your July Capricorn Full Moon Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Capricorn, Capricorn. Well, we're talking about the Capricorn Full Moon, but this is for Taurus. Taurus. So we're looking at the Full Moon, which can be completions, full circles, maybe even endings. And Capricorn, you know, can be the energy of making things real, looking at any toxic patterns, maybe ending that energy. It notes about taking our time, being stable, grounded, secure, practical, wise, analytical kind of energy as well. This could be the end of toxic um, connections as well or patterns, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. And whatever comes out, we're just going to take whatever comes out here, Capricorn. So Taurus, this is for Taurus. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Capricorn full moon. Taurus, we're going to take whatever comes out here. So it may or may not resonate. So if something comes out here you're not interested in, definitely it's not your reading, but hopefully it will be. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. So welcome in, Taurus. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. I'm not an astrologist. I'm just here to read the cards on the energy. So I really want to make that clear. So let's see. And the full moon is on the 3rd, July 3rd. So we have here Gentle Gardener. So we have two, which is about uh, partnership unities, choices, decisions. So let's get them all out. We'll see. Cleaning House 3710, which can be about endings and new beginnings. Rock Bottom 10, another 10, endings and new beginnings. And 6, Mountain. 6 is a very healing, balanced energy. Wow, so it seems like the recurring theme in a lot of these readings for this full moon in Capricorn is about ending cycles and new cycles starting. Because I kind of see here that uh, maybe you were in a very low vibrational energy, so you definitely clean house here. Maybe it was a big struggle, obstacle to clear, get over, and get onto the other side. But now you're on the other side of this mountain where there's growth, expansion, nourishment, and an energy here to take care of yourself, mend your heart, mend your energy, so that you can stop to plant seeds for something new in your life. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. And I'm also, I was also getting the energy towards about um, maybe a connection that just needs some gentle uh, tending to, a gentle growth, not rushing anything. It could be a new connection. So we'll see how this plays out. All right, Taurus, let's see. Taurus, everything you need to know is down below. Pin top comment description box. Uh, playlist is down there and list of the readings I do here. And my other channels down there. So if you want to sub to that, if you don't want to miss, my, uh, miss my readings or where did I go? You, you never know with this platform. Poof, a channel can be gone. Um, you can find me on that other channel. So if you want to sub to that in case I'm not really uploading over there right now. I may in the future, but currently I'm not uploading over there. Anyway, Taurus. So let's see, what does all this energy mean for Taurus? What's going on for you? Okay. Well, the Six of Swords. So you're definitely moving on to peace, harmony, and balance. You're leaving something behind. Maybe it was a dark kind of energy. A difficult energy. I'm definitely getting a low vibrational energy that was a little difficult to maybe break free from either it could have been codependent it could have been whatever the case may be let's see knight of pentacles so something was a long time coming that is your energy taurus death yeah there's the ending there's a the massive healing the star alignment balance things meant to be in the page of wants kind of looking out on the horizon for uh, new energy it's like your like here's your garden right here that you tended to right there and now you're looking above over the horizon what is beyond this garden that I tended to what's beyond that you know all primped up and ready you know for something new so let's see we have here uh, Sag Aquarius Scorpio Taurus so there's the ending, and there's the star with the massive healing, faith, hope, optimism, or streams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, balance, 
the page of wands is kind of like you know starting to get yourself out there reconnecting maybe to people it's been a long time coming and i definitely feel like that knight of pentacles was something you it took a long time for you some way somehow to overcome this break free overcome and move on and tend to yourself but death is definitely endings here into the what's next would be a new beginning knight of swords hmm six of pentacles and the seven of cups reversed and the three of cups i feel like you're going to be dating soon here three of cups is my courting dating getting to know seven of cups i don't feel any um now the six of pentacles upright for me is balance and with the seven of cups in reverse that's telling me that you're not going to feel any cloud any kind of cloudiness or confusion yeah king of swords this is somebody uh, could be an air sign doesn't have to be um somebody's very clear blunt direct to the point tells it like it is won't leave you confused and hanging could be courting date again to know especially if that seven of cups reverse there's no confusion and with it next with the six of pentacles means it's going to be equal give and take something very balanced and it could happen out of the blue here with the knight of swords definitely here all right so this could be you you getting um an invitation maybe somebody wants to take you out and this is you like already and you're just waiting where are they like looking out the window I feel like are they coming where are they you know they're going to be here so i'm just kind of looking and waiting and watching for them to get there get here you know kind of energy all right so let's see what's coming on your horizon that's kind of what i feel like here taurus so it kind of feels like um somebody new or maybe someone you just recently met all right you could have you know cleaning house here you could have so had someone in your house whether it, you were married or not that just maybe would not leave you know maybe you knew it was over and it was a difficult challenge but finally finally you were able to clean house that makes sense so you might have been you know living with someone who was kind of you know codependent on you maybe you know maybe they didn't really work or they kept losing their job anyway let's see oh look at this king of pentacles and we have the page of swords reversed hmm okay all right, so let's get them all out here. So sometimes when I get the Page of Swords reverse, if it's about somebody new or something like that, it could be somebody that you did not meet online. So you could have physically met them. Pentacles are very physical things. Let's see. Two of Wands. The Empress, knowing your value and worth. The Queen of Swords reversed. Hmm. Two of Wands. I kind. I want to clarify this Queen of Swords reverse. We did see the uh, King of Swords, which I felt is someone very truthful, honest, blunt, direct, clear to the point. And then we have this Queen of Swords. Why is that here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Let's get another one here. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands. I feel like. Um, You may have met somebody new. You may have met two people. I mean, you had a King of Swords, a King of Pentacles. Or I don't know if this is the past person, but I don't feel like you're involved with somebody who was married. I feel like this was somebody that was either in your space, like in a relationship, married, or they were living with you or whatever, and you're like, could I get rid of this person? That's kind of what I feel. But I also feel like, um, again, this King of Pentacles could be you, Taurus meets Virgo but it could be you I definitely feel like okay I get it now I definitely feel like you probably stopped communicating altogether to the past here um, no longer putting me putting the work into that you know looking forward to your future but we have the nine of Pentacles reverse which is either telling me not single or you don't like being single or you're not feeling very uh, secure or grounded right now or maybe you feel like you're struggling financially 
three of pentacles. Hmm, you could be working three jobs. I don't know. But um, I do see growth and expansion there. So if you're worried about finances, um, I think you're going to be fine. But um, I definitely feel like you're looking for the future, towards the future here and not putting in the work into something anymore. I kind of feel like this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is the person that you were with, they were not stable, they were not grounded, they didn't even make their own money, they were very codependent kind of energy, and now you're looking for the future. So I definitely feel like you broke all communication off of that. Empress here, you know your value and worth, you chose a new path for yourself. Again, you stopped all communication. That person could have been maybe abusive to you, maybe verbally, um, narcissistic, liar, um, not a great energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling. That's not what I asked for, but that's what they were giving me. So yeah, definitely High Priestess here. Trusting your intuition, higher knowing. Definitely. That's Pisces energy. Then we have uh, Libra, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. And this is Virgo, or it could be you, Taurus. But I want to see here that three wands. You definitely have something coming in. It could be three days, three weeks. I don't feel like it's three months. That's too far out. Um... Let's see. Something is coming on your horizon here with the Three of Wands. Wishing upon a star, which we have right there. Let's see. Nine of Swords. The Magician. Are you worried about what you're manifesting? <laughs> <laughs> kind of what I'm feeling here. I mean, we've got the Nine of Swords, Fear, Stress, Worry, Anxiety, but then we have the Magician Manifesting. So there's an, a stressful energy around manifesting, or you're worried about what you may be manifesting. Eight of Cups in Reverse. Hermit. And we have the Queen of Cups. Oops. So, Eight of Cups in Reverse can be about someone coming back. Hermit here is about wise energy. Why is the Eight of Two of Swords blocked? You may be worried. Um, I'm feeling like you're worried that you may manifest that past person back. Because the Eight of Cups can be about someone returning. Because usually Eight of Cups upright is about someone leaving, what's no longer serving, and the quest of something new. But it's in reverse. can be about either feeling stuck, like nothing's moving forward, or I think you're worried about whatever you're manifesting, that you may manifest somebody else coming back. But there's something here with the hermit. So this is about going within inner wisdom. It's um, a sing singletary energy. I feel like I feel like you don't have really have to worry about that. I don't, because we have the two and the eight of swords. So you blocked it, but you're feeling stuck. But this would be the ten of swords, which is saying it's done. You have something exciting and new coming in here with the ace of wands. Ten of pentacles here. That could go the long distance here. Very grounded, wealthy energy. Three of swords, heartache and pain. Knight of cups, nine Knight in the Nine of Cups. I just fear, I, I just fear, I just feel like you're fearing either getting your heart broken again, your wishes won't be fulfilled, maybe you may manifest either something from your past or s something similar happen happening to you again like your past. But, I mean, Queen of Cups is about love. So it's either you are longing, you know, it's a source here, so someone's clarity from source here. Either you're longing for love, real love, true love. You would love to love. You would love to love again. But there's a lot of fear surrounding this. See, look at that. Now we have an emperor. And look at that. I had kept it there with where the ace of swords is. So divine counterpart here. And actually, we have the emperor and the empress right here. And the emperor. A divine counterpart. And I just see the high priestess again. Treasure intuition. You know what you're doing, so don't put out energy, anything to do with your past, just what you would like that is new. Focus on the positive. Put out there the positive things you want. All right, so we have Gemini, Virgo, Virgo, Cancer. 
All right, Taurus, so let's see what is happening with this Queen of Cups. Male or female, it don't matter. Oh, look at that. The leap, a leap of faith leads to the Ten of Cups. Leaping right into the Ten of Cups. So trusting everything will be fine. Energetic reset to cut those cords. Do the energetic reset, the clearing, clean slate, no baggage. Trusting everything will be fine. And then you have the Ten of Cups, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Coming in. So we have Aquarius energy showing up there. All right, so let's ignite this flame. It's kind of giving me like ace vibes, like we saw the ace of wands, which is fire. All right, so let's see for you, Taurus. What else do you need to know? Five of swords, five of cups. See, there's all that energy of being betrayed, feeling lonely, left out in the cold. Fives of change, a five, five, ten, endings and new beginnings. That's done, that's over. And here's your ten right here. In the new beginning is right here with the fool. So, let's see. One more. Nine of wands. Yeah, this is something you're struggling with, I feel. And if you're like, well, that's not really me. It could be somebody maybe you have a connection with or something like that. Knight of wands reverse. I think you're worried about being played here and about someone not opening their heart to you. King of cups reverse. But we have the lovers right here. Gemini energy. Oh, let's see. And justice here. That could be divorce. You know, you're divorced, they're divorced, whatever here. But this is also truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, things meant to be, soul contracts and past life. Balance. All right. So I want to know here, um, we have Aquarius showing up there. What do we need to know about this fool and the uh, ten of cups? The Fool and the Ten of Cups for Taurus. Fool and the Ten of Cups for Taurus. Page of Pentacles, a solid offer, a gesture for a date, a drink, a coffee, Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay, let's see. Knight of Swords, something happening out of the blue. Emperor. There's an Emperor. And the High Priestess. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed? Judgment and the Six of Wands. I feel like there's still something it has been coming like up. Like in all the readings, I feel like I'm doing the same reading for every sign almost. You f I kind of feel like you feel like something is still attached to you with that Ten of Swords reverse that you can't shake or you're trying to cut free from but you have this page of pentacles coming in here. It could be out of the blue from a divine person who could be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader as well. High Priestess, just trust your intuition and what you're manifesting. A page of pentacles could be something solid, a drink, a coffee, a date. That could be you, Taurus. For me, it's Capricorn, but it could be you. Uh, we have Aquarius, Aries, Pisces. So I just want to clarify the tennis because the tennis swords in reverse again, again can be about being stuck or not being able to let something end or let it go or a long, drawn out, difficult ending. Why is that tennis swords in reverse here? Six of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel like here. Um, Ace of Wands. Yeah. It, okay, you had a definitely a definitely difficult time with your either last or past relationship. So it's about getting over the fear of that or manifesting something similar to that or manifesting that back to you. This is all about letting the past go, not being stuck in the past, and embracing new energy coming in for you. Let's see, we do have, uh, I think I need all the signs, two of swords. So making that decision here. Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, hmm, Six of Pentacles. Again, that could be, you know, sadness, lost grief, Eight of Wands. In reverse, it's about, like, again, being stuck. King of Cups in reverse, though, here. So I feel like you, you'll have to make every effort here to detach from the past. If you've done that, then great. 
because you have a true counterpart coming in here and tend to it carefully here you got that gentle goner up there so not rushing taking our time building it slow and let it be what it's meant to be but i have to let the past go and embrace the new that makes sense for you now well there's that king of swords again upright didn't we have the queen of swords here but it could be an air sign that's gemini energy uh we just saw it could be you know someone very like i said clear direct to the point won't leave you hanging won't leave you in any kind of confusion let's see as far as a time frame hmm well we have a two here i mean it could be two weeks two days well, let's see so you're either going to meet them soon or you just met this person um it's not really telling me like how maybe you met them at their place of business if they are a business owner entrepreneur leader in some way shape or form all right or they could have like their own business or practice whatever that may be all right and we did see the king of swords so that could be somebody in medical military law enforcement um like a teacher professor a counselor anything to do anyone who works with the mind whether it's education or uh counseling or therapy or something like that as well or they could work in communications of some kind all right so let's see let's see what this deck has for you taurus and again everything you need is below if it did resonate or you enjoyed this please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell look at that we have the emperor and the empress right here hmm all right so let's see for taurus what else do we need to know retreat so i just feel like retreat is all about rest recovery healing taking care of yourself Tending to yourself right there, gentle gardener. Creativity. So maybe focus on uh, some things right now that bring you happiness, joy, fulfillment, meditation. So there's a lot here about heal, like a lot of healing energy of tapping into your creativity and doing things that bring you a sense of healing and uh, enjoyment. Retreating, meditation, praying, whatever that means for you getting maybe some answers from spirit your own intuition your higher self in the gateway and i think this is gonna like this is like heart mind body and soul so is the gateway here opening the gateway you have to open the gateway to get into the garden right most times so an emergence so this is about the transformation and emerging as like a whole new uh, you that is for sure but we do have an earth connection on the top of the deck here so maybe you are connected to an earth sign or will be this could be a past life connection roots run deep there's always room for more growth expansion longevity and also taking our time not rushing and slow growth and expansion definitely here all right taurus and you are an earth sign so i'm wishing you the best again everything is below and i hope to see you next time